Good morning, you guys. It is 9.30 on the 5th of March. Um, it is a Tuesday, which is my Friday, because me and Joey take uh, Wednesday and Thursday off, which is nice. It's been pretty nice to have some days off to focus on projects at home and other shit that I want to deal with, like the streaming shit and other shit, even the vlog and being able to edit more and I go work out or work out more and then go work with my boy Big Al, the, the videographer homie of mine that we'd be filming shit and planning different shit and talking about marketing and editing and all kind of crazy stuff. So it's been cool to have the time off because I haven't done that for years. So pretty dope. Anyways, uh, kind of a weird morning. I don't usually even like to address this or even humor this because it's just so lame, but uh, let's see. Uh, but definitely got a weird hater that I've noticed. And like, uh, I noticed this one comment a couple days ago, just like some poking fun or whatever, and it's fine. I just usually like let it roll and don't even trip, just keep it moving. And then I noticed it again and again and again, and I just it seemed to get really repetitive, and it's always the same joke of, he says, like, I'm not gay, homie, but you look sexy as fuck. And it's like, dude, okay, either thanks, but what? it's like, if it's a joke, which it obviously it is, you don't need to say the same joke seven times. It's so fucking weird, right? And it's just a weird thing to say to a dude, like, yo, homie, you look... Se I'm not gay, but you're sexy as fuck. Like, okay, yeah, haha, ha, super funny, I guess, or whatever. First time I got the joke. Anyways, I noticed he just keeps saying the same thing, and I click on this kid's profile, like, who is this? Because it just says user, number, number, whatever, of course. And uh, it says that he's made four... He, he says he signed up one week ago on Insta or on YouTube and has made 44 comments on my page. So I wasn't tripping. He has been, like, ov overly probing me, pause, poking at me or whatever with some weird-ass comments. 44 comments in a week? I haven't even posted 44 videos for him to comment on. So super weird, right? So I comment back, dude, ease up or I'm going to block these comments. Then he writes, oh, you're just a cloud chaser. I see you're working out with so-and-so because you're just a cloud chaser. Bro, anyways, like, long story short, this dude, fuck, fuck this dude, right? But it's just crazy that people will dedicate, like, their YouTube or their Instagram or whatever to just to harass you or comment on your page. He wasn't following anybody. He has no followers. It's just a blank, brand-new page to go and make comments to say, you're sexy as fuck, homie. Like, dude, what is going on? Obviously, no profile picture. No, it's just so odd. People are such a trip. Anyways, in other news, you know, I've realized, uh, geez, why is the brightness keep getting fucked? In other news, uh, I've kind of realized that watching the vlogs back, like the working out part is the least interesting part. And I understand that. That's why I try to do as much talking during the working out and stuff because it's just repetitious of just me working out. And I don't have like some crazy physique. I understand that. I'm still working to build like my physique and what I'm going to actually look like in the next couple of years. So it's a little bit re boring and repetitious. But so I know that this, these scenes of me chatting and talking and trying to catch up and somehow telling stories or giving advice or anything is the more interesting shots and even just aesthetically and how it sounds and not having the fucking blown out zoo audio because they would play future so loud and meek mill so fucking loud that you have to turn up the voice isolation crazy or just chop it up so that you can even like not get copyrighted every single video anyways that's not there i mean it's whatever it's neither here nor there but it just makes it really hard to get good audio in zoo versus here where it's a very controlled environment. It's easy for me. I have a microphone and there's a camera. And right now, I don't know why the problem with the lighting is being an issue, but normally it's really easy to control this whole environment. Anyways, I figured I'd tell a quick little story about my fitness journey because uh, I'm 42 years old, about to be 43 in May. Um, I think like most people, a lot of... I learned about um, weightlifting in... in uh, not really junior high, ninth grade. I only went to ninth grade for three months, which is a very short time. Don't take my advice, children of 
no kid should jump, drop out of high school, but it wasn't for me. Either way, in uh, high school for me, they gave us an option. They said, hey, you can either play football, flag football, or you can go in the weight room and do weightlifting. So I chose to do weightlifting. And whenever I was in ninth grade, I learned a few exercises in the weight room. And it was cool. I, I enjoyed it, but it was very short-lived. Then when I turned about 18, I started working with this dude. And I'll leave the job out of it just because it was an illegal job that we were doing. We weren't doing anything too crazy, but it wasn't legal at the time. And after work, we would go to the rec center that was in the small town I lived in because it was open 24 hours. And so we could go anytime. We'd go there at 11 or 1 in the morning and go work out. And we weren't doing nothing. We were just honestly using like the treadmills and just kind of doing stupid little curls or I don't even know, man. He was kind of jacked at the time, but I definitely was not. So, um, Then after that, um, I, let's see, I moved to San Francisco and I started getting into like, kind of like CrossFit kind of things because that was brand new at the time. It wasn't even really CrossFit. It was like, what do they call it? Not Metcon even. It was just kind of like hit class kind of hit training shit because I had a girlfriend that was super into it and I never really liked it. So I kind of laid off it. Then when I turned about 24, I moved to New York and I started working out again with my boy Diego, who was a designer at Supreme. And uh, me and him got real close. And we would go to Crunch Fitness over in Union Square, kind of, uh, I think it's like on 2nd or something. And it was right by my house. I lived on Avenue B and so I'd run over there in the morning and I would go work out. And uh, it was pretty funny. It was like we'd be listening to Lil Wayne and shit because it was, you know, mid 2000s. and. Just same kind of thing, maybe doing I don't know, leg presses. I don't really remember what we would be doing, just some real bullshit. It was almost 20 years ago, you guys, like 19 years ago, a long time ago. And then uh, I did that for a few years, and I even went to a, a private kind of gym called Dolphin Fitness, and it was like cooler, but it was really smelly and small and didn't have AC. It wasn't a commercial gym, and I was almost only used to commercial gyms at that point because I was such an amateur. Then um, when I turned closer to 30, I was on a world tour with my friend Thomas Morgan and we were traveling the world and stuff. And we would be in certain places for certain amounts of time and we just have nothing to do. So when we were in Taiwan, we decided to start training again. We were training and again, same thing. I was just doing the treadmill and like I had no idea what I was even doing. And that was even only like 12 years ago. So then doing that shit, still no results. We get, we get back to Los Angeles and we're working out at uh, a racquetball club. I'm just like, you know, same as most people, right? When you say, I want to get in shape or I want to get fit, you think I, that means lose weight, you know? But now for me, when I think about getting in shape or getting fit, that means I want to get bigger. I want to get as big as possible. But when I was younger, up until like a year ago or two years ago, I always thought that being fit meant being slim or being... Uh, lean as possible so anytime I would try to get in shape all I would do is do cardio and shit and never want and wonder why I'm never getting bigger or never not understanding like that's not how you do it you know so then let's say excuse me 2015 I started 2014 I opened a shop here in West Hollywood high seas tattoo but it was on sunset and I, I had an employee named Levi and me and him started working out like crazy. And he was real big and tough at the time in comparison to me. So I was like always looking up to him and being like, man, I want to just be strong like this. So again, we started doing CrossFit classes and shit, not understanding that that's not how you get big and strong. But he was already big and strong, so he wasn't really worried about it. He was just trying to probably just get lean because, you know, he wants to be he wanted to be trim. <coughs> Excuse me. But for somebody like me, I was already kind of like, I weighed 145 pounds or 150 pounds. So I was already kind of a shrimp, you know. Um, then we started working out more and more. We started doing uh, the classes and shit. But then we started going to like LA Fitness over on Sunset. And I would just do that shit. I did that shit for a couple of years. And it was just really gross. Just same shit, commercial gym stuff. And just really never understanding what I was doing. Just flopping through the motions 
my split was probably push pull legs and I probably didn't even understand what that even meant. I don't even know, dude. I, for years and years and years, like almost 20 years, I had no idea about how to work out correctly. So then um, fast forward to about three years ago, I decided to step up my fitness game because I started filming myself watering my uh, plants and doing weird shit and I could see how fat I had been and let myself go. So I started working out to try to, same thing, just get skinnier because I was, I felt fat and bloated and lame. And I started working out the Equinox and it was right at the end of the COVID thing. So we had to wear the masks and stuff. It was kind of a pain in the ass, but I started getting into a good flow. And then I started taking it more serious and I started going every day. And then I started working out with my assistant at the time. And then we even got a second gym membership at Gold so we could go to two different places. So I was able to like stay super motivated. Then I started talking to people online that were kind of like fitness coaches that were had dope physiques that were actually like bodybuilder-esque looking dudes. And they would tell me, you know, you got to change your diet and do this and this. And I met a guy online that really gave me a lot of advice. He was from New Jersey. So he gave me a shit ton of advice about how to eat, how to, you know, train correctly, all this stuff, right? Then uh, I ended up getting a coach last March after kind of two years of just really trying as hard as I could to take it as serious as I could. But same thing. I just got kind of big and puffy. I wasn't looking that great. Then I got a coach um, in March of last year and he really, really helped me understand like what kind of training, how you train, ups and downs and like all these different elements. So like I said, I've only really been taking this serious for one year. So if you guys see me doing exercises incorrectly or having like my one shoulder higher than the other like I know I'm not perfect I know I'm not even that great I don't know I'm not good I'm I'm really just trying my hardest to learn everything correctly and film myself so I can see where my flaws are so I'm able to get better because like it's been so long you guys of just trying and trying and trying to be a better weightlifter or athlete or just in shape and never understanding even what that even fucking meant so I definitely feel like I have a better understanding, a better understanding of my nutrition. I just eat the same thing every day and it helps me stay on track. Every morning I eat 50 grams of oats, 10 ounces of egg whites, a scoop of protein in the egg whites, a scoop of protein in the oats. So that's like a little bit of extra calories, but it's to make sure that I can eat the shit because plain oatmeal is so gross and drinking egg whites or egg whites would just hot sauces it's just so fucking lame dude and after a year of eating the exact same meal every day you just get so tired honestly it's like hard then uh for i have for my meals throughout the day i have six ounces of chicken twice six ounces of turkey once and six ounces of beef once all accompanied with six ounces of vegetable usually broccoli green beans or zucchini and then I have 400 grams of rice usually, but right now I've been having 800 grams of rice split throughout the day. So that it's quite a bit. So it's a nice amount of carbs, some fiber, some protein. And uh, yeah, seems like it's been a good amount of energy to consume so that I have energy to, at the gym throughout my day. I haven't had to take naps and I haven't been getting migraine headaches, which is a problem I've had in the past. So and usually that's I found that's from my like caffeine crashes and like, again, low energy, lack of carbs. Whenever I've done carb cycling and shit, sometimes I'll just be like fucking fried. And last year when I was carb cycling, there would be days where I'd just be laying on my floor. So just crashed. I couldn't even get off of my floor. It was so scary. Like I think it had something to do with my blood sugar level just being fucking through down in the ground. Like, dude, it was fucked. But I think I've got everything under control a lot better now and feeling better, you know, drinking all my water, getting a good amount of sleep every day, working out tons and uh, doing my cardio every day, you know, staying on habit, you know, that's what we got to do. It's, it's creating these routines for ourselves that are sustainable so that we're able to have this lifestyle that's easy enough to continue and can do for ourselves, you know, because you're the only one that has to do it. No one else has to do your shit. You know, if you don't want to do this, then fine, don't, but you're not going to see the results. And, you know, if you can't see my results from what I do, there's an old saying, what you eat don't make me shit. So, you know, you just got to uh, 
keep your eye on the prize and we can all get there, you know. Anyways, uh, I'm going to work out today with Zan, uh, Road to Millie. So that'll be cool. Um, I don't really, I mean, I know who he, who he is and we're kind of friends, but I wasn't, I didn't even know who he was until the zoo culture one year anniversary party. And that's when we met. And so I'm really looking forward to getting to know him better and hearing his story and where he's from. And so he's going to tell me about some, uh, video game streaming shit. So I'm kind of excited to hear about that because he seems to be a really smart dude. And we'll obviously film the workout and see how he does. I think he's just trying to get back into working out or trying to get into working out. I don't think he has that much experience, but yeah, we'll see. I guess I, I don't really know his skill level, but I'm excited to see what he's going to do and we'll get a good back day in either way. It's always fun. So, all right, I'm going to get the dog ready and we're going to head off to zoo culture. Let's get it boys. All right. Just waiting on Zan. He's an hour. He's going to be an hour late after he asked me to wait an hour, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to Get my cardio in, do some stretching. It's the first time I ever uh, felt myself doing the cardio. Got to do an hour of cardio every day, you guys. Even if you don't want to do it, just got to fucking do it. Hour. Either on the bike or go for a walk or a hike. Something that's going to take like an hour, break a little sweat, nothing crazy. See how I can talk. You're supposed to be able to talk the whole time, too. So if you're out of breath, that's a little bit too much. Even though my winded ass is fucking almost out of breath. Joe gonna pretend like she don't see me? Fuck that, Joe. She walking back and forth, putting her hand in her butt crack. I'll see her in a second. I'm stuck on this bike with fajitas barfing in zoo culture and they're fucking, hey man, your dog's barfing in the corner. Making me look bad. But fuck it. Everybody loves fajita, so she can barf if she has to every once in a while. Not ideal, but whatever. Fucking back day. I gotta focus on doing some close grip rows. I always like skip out on that. And I gotta get some stuff that's really going to build the center of my back so I can build some density. All right. Beautiful. Sean, Ooh, thank yeah. you, bro. <laughs> we made it. All right. We made it. An hour and a half later, we're here. What are we going to do today? Back. Back. Yeah, we need to get back. What kind of stuff do you want to do? I'm going to let you take me through a workout. All right, cool. you're, you're the vet. Um, but do you want to introduce yourself to the people? Let them know who you are. Hi, I'm Zan. Uh, work out here at Zoo Culture with Sean. I uh, see him all the time. He's an animal, absolute unit. Um, and I'm trying to just trying to get better, trying to get big like him. So, where are you from? I'm from Chicago originally. Lived in Florida. Now me and my YouTube crew live here in Encino. Oh, fire! You're, you're close to the gym. Yes, sir. Yeah, nice. All right, let's get some back. Let's get some back. Wide grip. Like right here. Right here. And then pull it, yeah, in front of you. Nice. All the way up. There you go. All the way down. All the way up. All the way up. Like release your shoulders. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Keep your body stationary. Perfect. All the way up. Nice. Good job. These feel good. Yep. Keep going until you absolutely can't go anymore. Here we go. Keep it going. Slow it down a little bit. There you go, all the way up. Beautiful. Here we go, five more. Slow it down. There we go. One more. Damn, I just got in here. You're trying to kill me already, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Roll them back, you pull them back. Mm -hmm. okay, you want your shoulder blades to come together, right? Mm -hmm. 
we want to pull the bar to the front of our chest. And when we pull down, we want to use our lats under here under our arms. Oh, there you go. That's why we want to go all the way up to release your lat. Come down and pull. You make it look easy. Here we go. Nice and slow, okay? Oh, yeah. Show your control. There you go. Good job. Beautiful. All the way up, too. I definitely feel that pinch in my back. Oh yeah, good. That's perfect. You know it's working. Yeah, you feel your shoulder blades coming together? Now? Yeah. Good job. Yeah, your form is perfect. I just a little good stiff. Tempo. No, good tempo. <laughs> Five more, here we go. Slow down, slow down. Are you reading more than you're working out? Four. Oh. Last one. Hold it at the bottom. Here we go. Hold one, two, three. Oh. Four. Right. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Wow. Do you match it with your breathing usually? Like breathe. Yeah, you know, yeah, you breathe in and breathe out at the bottom and breathe in. And breathe in. Yeah, you always gotta remember to breathe. What was your first tattoo? The Spitfire logo on my uh, right arm. Oh yeah, I see it. That was awesome. Classic, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that tattoo, this tattoo, in uh, May 4th, 1997. Wow. I was 16. It's two years before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love Spitfire. Yeah, yeah. Was, when I was in, I was in high school when I got the tattoo. And now here, stand over here. So we can uh, and when my mom was like, oh, I'll take you to get a tattoo after school, I didn't know what to get. So I was just flipping through a Thrasher magazine. And I'm like, all right, maybe the Independent Trucks logo or the Thrasher logo. And I was like, nah, I want the Spitfire. Yeah. Shit was cool. So it is. And I got that shit and then showed everybody in high school like I was some badass. The Thrasher logo would have been hard. Too. Yeah, but that you'd need a bigger area. Yeah. For my buddy got the Think logo. So what? Were there. you this big when you got that tattoo? Fuck no, I, I was 145 pounds up until like a year ago. Wow. And I weigh 180 pounds now, so I weigh like almost 40 pounds different. Yeah. yeah. I was real skinny and like a little shrimp. I've only been working out for a year. But you're like bulk. You were focused on bulking. Uh, well, I got fat on accident. Not on accident, like on purpose, trying to get bigger. I got bigger, but I got fat. Yeah. And then uh, had to turn it to muscle. Had to, yeah, I had to turn it back down, and that's where I'm at now. But it's only wow. been about a year, so like the turnaround could happen pretty quick. Yeah. You don't need. Like, Congratulations. Yeah, we don't need an insane amount of time. This is day day 21 on my journey, so thank you for yeah. being a part. Yeah. yeah for sure. It's gonna, you'll notice like at three months you'll see a change, and then at six months you'll see a change. And then like about every three months. Yeah. You know, it's hard to see it too sometimes when you're in it, right? I, I'm feeling the beginner gains a little bit right yeah. now though. Like just strength wise, like I feel like I'm more balanced in my body and stuff like that. Great. All right, we're going to a hundred. As much as you can do, yeah. This is our last one. Keep your back nice and straight. There you go. Okay. 
You can scoot your butt back a little bit. There you go, perfect. Oh yeah, I feel that. We don't want a pussyfoot or anything that's making it easier is not good, you know? We want to make it work. There you go, come on, let's keep it going. Six more. Five more. Come on. Three. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, one more. Oh, oh. That <laughs> that's a tap out. I can see that you were like physically giving it your all. Yeah. I felt it pushing down. I'm running out. Yeah, the difference from the first set to the last set was amazing. Thank you. Wow. I'm focused on like holding the contraction as long as you can, you know? You can feel when you're in the holding the muscle, right? Yeah. Definitely. And holding it at the top and the bottom. So holding it here. Oh, man. Yeah, holding it at the top, I feel like it's easy. It's the bottom part. Takes a little bit of practice. We're gonna put the bar on the palm of our hand, not right here. We both have a tattoo there. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> show the show the. Kids. Oh. <laughs> What's the two two over ten for? Keep your two on their ten. Oh. So be aware of your surroundings. So put it on your. I use like the tip of my finger to kind of hold it, so that it's right here. And then we're gonna lean forward, straight legs together. And then we use this to pull it down. Wow, yeah, I see that. See, it's the lat underneath your arm. Yeah. I definitely see it squeezing and releasing every time. Your arm straight. Always think I'm in the middle shoulder. Try to duck your head under your shoulder so that you can get your lats open. Keep your chest up like you're a boat or some shit, you know? <laughs> Stay above the water. What's up, bro? How's it going? That's how you get those wings, huh? Yeah, that's it. That's it right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. What's up, Austin? What's up, Dan? How, how was your day yesterday? Oh, it was great. Here. Good, Good to see you. Good to see you. Where are you, you heading today? Yeah, you had a very uh, eventful day yesterday. It was cool. You got to hang out with all the crew and yeah it was awesome that. man it's been a good come experience true, really yeah a cool experience Heck so yeah. far right yeah 100 percent. i've been loving it every day it just keeps getting better <laughs> yeah it's cool man i'm glad to have you here yeah I'm, I'm just grateful to be here and just experience all this yeah every single day it's it's awesome it doesn't get better than this man where are you heading today i'm gonna do some legs legs yeah. nice i well, might hop in a little bit after after back but we'll see yeah, yeah we'll see fucked. what uh what did you guys do yesterday Chest and arms. Okay. We started with some heavy bench and then oh, yeah, just did that. some accessory work. Nice. Yeah, he walked me through it. That was a nice workout. Are you sore today or what? Yeah, chest and oh, right in the, here. yeah, right here. Yeah, for sure. that's where I always get right here in my like side of my tit. Yeah, just and when you're walking down the stairs, you just Yeah, yeah. oh, fuck. I'm feeling like I got straight man boobs right now, oh, yeah. man. It feels good, though. <laughs> that's good. Give it a couple of months, man, you'll be like, look at this. That's what I'm saying. In like three months, he'll probably have a decent something. And then, you know, every three months, you get a nice little gift from God, you know, yeah. something else. We're working on well, it. He's got a great foundation, like even when we were flexing in there, uh -huh. once you like fill it out, you're gonna have a crazy design. Thank you, bro. I just need to get in here. And well, stay you're in doing here. the right thing. You're here every single day. Yeah, I'm thankful. I, I showed up an hour, 30 minutes late on it. I owe him dinner get, now. I'm gonna beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I won't interrupt you guys. Have fun. See you, bro. Yeah, get your workout. Yeah, put that butt up and then chest up. Yep, exactly. There you go. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck. You feel that? Straight legs, straight legs. Then lean, lean over a little bit. Keep your chest up. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to balance out my... Oh, I got you. Here, we 
we can move all lower to look uh, So lean from your uh, lower back, right? But keeping your chest up. There you go, perfect. Straight legs. You can stay leaned over a little bit. You don't gotta stand up so much. Oh, there you go. Step oh. down deep. Come forward. Come on. No deflection in your legs. Oh, five. Bend over at your hip. Bend over. Yep. Chest up. I know there's a lot to think about. Sorry, dude. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good job, man. Nice. All the way up. Two good ones. All the way up. There you go. Pull into it. Oh, you feel that? Come on, all the way up. All the way up. Yeah, that's a little more advanced than most of the workouts sure. I do. But yeah, we're just going to focus next time. Push, I feel pushing that butt up towards the back wall. So you can have like pretty much straight leg, 90% straight leg. Yeah. But then push your butt towards the back wall and then test that while leaning over. It's just a lot to think about, but once you do it. Yeah, I'm not flexible at all either. We'll get there. A lot to gain. I like it. Yeah, Austin kid's cool, man. I'm glad he's here. With yeah. Cool people. Motivation. I just like young kids that are into bodybuilding and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like the easiest way to get in it is just start doing it and then. Anything, right? Yeah. It's fun though, like since I've been going to this gym, I've learned so many workouts I never even knew existed. Of course, I can't imagine. Uh. Alright. Yeah, let's put it down, yeah, like 50. 50. Is it easier if you do it in right here? Or should, I kind of like to straight on just. Butt out. Chest up. Here you go. Butt towards the back wall. Yep, exactly. Yep, there you go. That's perfect, man. Good job. And lean your top back over a little further. Good job. Yeah, you're right. That's going crazy. Here we go. There you go. Feeling that for sure. Oh, yeah. Fucking humming right now. It's popping up the side of your shirt. Five more. Five. Last one. Keep that chest up. Keep that chest up. Oh, yeah. Those squeeze. Yeah, I could see you. <sighs> I didn't even know I had lats. It's a bobby. Yeah. So now I just got the Tesla. Good old reliable, man. Yeah, cool, man. I don't mind it. I love it, honestly. And you have Elon Musk behind you now, you know? Yeah, Porsche. I had the Porsche face for like six years. It yeah. It's cool. You know who it there. started it is? I used to go with Lil Zan. Oh, really? And uh, me and him would, would make merch together. I would do his like merchandise for him for his you know, t-shirts and stuff. We were making enough money to where that's why I started getting into Porsches because wow. I, I had enough money to buy brand new Wow. Cars. I'm doing merch soon. Hopefully we I, can do merch together yeah, then. I yeah, I can do some pointers. I know a lot about it. I had a print shop before and I've oh, yeah. done it for 10 years. A long time. Yeah, I'm planning on doing it in like a month to two months. But cool. Yeah, I've helped a lot of artists. I got to meet Lil Zan. Zan and Zan, you know. Yeah, that's I, could, I could affiliate that. <laughs> he's, he's a good kid too. Right now, I'm just focused. Jim. That's great. That's where you should be. 
body, mind, and then the money and everything else comes after, huh? Uh, I mean, your career and everything follows suit. When your body and your head are straight, your career yeah. and everything else are, are humming too because there's no way that everything else could be in order if you're a fat, miserable slob that sleeps like shit, eats like shit, acts like an asshole. Yeah, yeah. You have to, everything in mind itself, you know? Oh, true. Even yeah. your faith and spirituality, like it's all connected, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When everything's aligned, you get the best result. Yeah, I, I started off meditating 30 minutes a day and I feel like that's what brought me back into the gym because it gave me my body awareness like, fuck, man. Like, you used to be able to run like, I used to run like miles, six minutes, 6.15. That's insane. It's pretty good. That's I mean, I know good. people that do like five minutes, 5.30. I mean, a runner. Like, yeah. A serious runner. But like now I'm at like probably eight minutes and maybe a lot, maybe longer. But I'm gearing up for an 8K. Oh, really? That'll be great. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, I'm not good with running, but I'm good with like doing hikes. Hikes are great out here, huh? Yeah. I'm going to try 60. Should I try 60? Yeah, Sorry. do 60. You got this. Wow. Yep, exactly. Good job. Good point. Push that, butt out. Swing all the way forward, get that left all the way engaged. There it is, you feel that? Yeah. See him. Good job. Five more, there we go. Oh, let's go, man. Yeah, let's go. Wow, survive those ones. So, what's the key to these? Yeah, I really see, I see the pinch in your back every time you. Yeah. Like squeezing a grape, huh? Opening it. You know, and then closing it. Same thing, holding on both sides, you know? Oh, the rest of the Saturday. I'll give you the rest of the Saturday right now. There you go. Is it 80 light or heavy for you? Uh, I'm going to get a bottle. Would you rather have you go all the way back and be able to hold it, you know? Yeah. Straight leg, just because there's not much of a... Uh, Lean a little bit forward and, and relax your whole, this whole top half. There you go. Now pull it all the way back. Relax it forward and then now come back. There you go. See? Now relax all the way forward. You feel that? Yeah. Create like two movements, you know, all the way open, all the way close. There you go. See, we're training with purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a huge difference. Come on. Slow it down, slow it down. Show control. Each direction. Five more. Here we go. Easy. Four. Four. Come on. Good job. You can feel your back going crazy. Yep. Right there. See it? You can squeeze my finger. Good. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. You got this. Basically. One more. One more. Wow.
I don't know, the motion looks so natural when you're doing it. It almost like makes sense, like it's science or something, you know? You had it down great. I think it's just when you stop and think about what we're doing, it's a lot easier to knock it out. Yeah. Some people just like, like you said, you just start throwing it around. Uh huh. Watch out this guy. You know, this tempo. Mm. Anybody that's big and has somewhat of an idea of what's going on is not throwing anything around. Yeah. It's super slow, it's super controlled. It looks beautiful, like you said. Yeah. Ooh, made me blush a sweat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling. Focus on that tempo and opening all the way up and then pulling it all the way forward uh, yep. and then getting it high. There you go. And driving those elbows back. There you go. Nice. He's killing me. Come on, two more. Let's go. Last one. <laughs> Fire. This Let's feels go. so weird though. Feel it. Oh, I love, yeah, it feels weird, but it looks so dope from the back. I feel like I have like an armor on my back. Yeah, like right? <laughs> it's kind of felty, Tila. It is. I want to be touching But it looks head. dope, like from afar, I saw. Joe yeah. wanted to ask you a question real quick. Yeah. Joe, go ahead. How do you pronounce your name? Oh, Zan. Why did you just call me that? <laughs> I've been calling you Zan for so long. Everybody calls me Zan. It's spelled like if you read my name, it's... Because I was talking to him. He's like, oh, and he knew it was Zan. <laughs> he's like, who are you working out? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, who's Zan? <laughs> You make me look like an idiot. What? I, I don't think I'm just too not, yeah, like, I'm too. You're not going to correct a cute girl that's saying your name. Exactly. I'm not cute, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull you in a headlock. Boom! Like, <laughs> 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 Steve Austin in your ass. Yeah, I just wanted to show my new shirt. I love it. Thanks. I like yours. Thank you. I like Raw yours, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those. It's uh, my accountability to make sure I'm in the gym. And I still showed up an hour late, so I'm sorry. He's doing good though. Trying. Yeah. He's killing me. He's teaching me all these new things. Yeah, like, he's a legend. So. I feel like I'm going under like oh, my fucking, my Olympic on. training great. right now or something. Oh well. It's just the Ben Zan. Zan Michael Foley. You, you're not working out? Just realized you're my working? mic is not Ben uh, on. I'm a fucking idiot, bro. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Look at Joe. Tequila, yeah. My pants are coming off. 100%. <laughs> Last one. Come on, baby. Good work. Try 70 on this. Mm -hmm. Let's see it, Zan. Straight back on there you go. Mm-hmm. Good job. Three more. Come on. Hold this last one for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Whew, thank you. Pushing me. Yes, sir ski. That's how pirates fell on those rowboats, huh? <laughs> I bet. <laughs> That's why it's called the row. Here we go. <sighs> there you go. Come on. Come on. 
I'm digging this no music thing. Yeah, what's up with that? Should I tell them? No, the Wi-Fi's off. What? Yeah, it sounds good. I like it. I, it's for too much loud ass Travis Scott is distracting. Yeah, it is good to just be able to zone in. For sure. Ouch. They're behind these 25ers, yeah. There we go. Two of these. So we just need two of them, yeah. One each. Cool. Um, okay. Should so I this grab one, a clamp or are we good? No, 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 we're good. This one, I'm gonna lean forward. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. This shit's hard as fuck. Yeah. It's like Superman's. <laughs> Ooh, might have to. Or you try this, and I'm gonna move it up a little bit for me next time. So far back. Jeez, oh, Louise, that shared. Yeah, put straight legs. Yep, on there. Perfect. Yep. Good job. Nice. Beautiful. And then keep your head up. It'll help you. Yep, exactly. Squeeze that back closer together. Three more. Come on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that, that was, was a hard. trip, right? Yeah. Whoa. Good shit. That, that feels up. good. Move it up a little forward from my wow. kind of short ass. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Come over here. Yep. So in your opinion, what is the best like way to stream video games? I'm I'm so new to this. I don't really know anything about it. Mm. So is like a PC the P way? Yeah, I would do PC for sure. Yeah. Really? Because it's just why the most options. Yeah, and then you can have like. Um, you're like all your background stuff running, like you have your Discord running, your stream, you can see it live. Like I see a lot of streamers. My setup, for example, is like two monitors. I'm playing on this monitor, and then on this monitor, I'll have like the stream, the chat, everything going on. So that way you can interact with your chat. What do you stream on? I used to do Twitch, but they're kind of falling off right now. I think someone bought them out and just like mm -hmm. not doing as well. Kick. Kick is a really good one. And then... Um, I was gonna stream on my YouTube just because I have 18,000 followers on my YouTube already. Yeah, yeah. So I figured it would be good since I'd I already yeah. have a following. Live you know? stream on YouTube. Yeah. That, TikTok, and Kick are the three one. top ones right now, yeah. We do like long form on YouTube. If I streamed, I'd probably go kick, but that's just because I'd probably try to get like a deal or something. They do a lot of deals. Yeah, I would like to do kick as well, just because that's where my homies are at, yeah. you know, Fousey and and it's just. But I don't have a following over there, so it's like starting from absolute zero. Yeah, it's sucks. hard to get following from like YouTube to transfer. You over know what I'm kick. saying? Or or those whatever. guys want you to stay on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because like the kids on my YouTube are like saying they want me to play because I'll do I do reviews and, or like I don't do reviews but like uh, reactions to like video game clips and stupid shit. Yeah. And so they'll always be like, why don't you play these video games? Because I'm and I'm like, well, I don't really even know how to play them. I just react to the people would love to see you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, let me try to figure this out. But I've been trying to figure it out with like uh, what I had at my house and I only have a Nintendo Switch and a mm -hmm. MacBook and it's like. I'm, I'm having the hell of a time getting everything set up. Yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing that PC, why is PC better than Mac? Just because um, Mac is like a closed software. So some of the software that people use to stream and stuff, can, you can't even run on Mac. 
Well, you can, but yeah, if I, I mean, get you different can use stuff. OBS or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. mean, and I like Mac. Like yeah. I, I would stream off it. PC is just a little more like open software, user friendly. Yeah, yeah. Huh. But yeah, I see a lot of people just streaming off the desktop and then get a camera and a mic. And yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, or IRL streaming. What do you mean IRL streaming? There's like an uh, IRL. IRL stream kit you could get. So it's like a backpack. It's like camera you bring around with you. Oh, really? And it just uploads it live to like Twitch or Kick or whatever you're. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's like, so you can be out in the world or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like we could be streaming this entire thing right now. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I see some dudes doing that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, like Fusi, Neon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and Yusuf would work out and he uh, would be streaming sometimes. Yeah, I like the YouTube long form a little better though. I love your content. Your content's amazing, man. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. I'm working on it. Slowly but surely, we'll get better. I think this year's going to be dramatic for all of us. Yeah. From that first interview at the anniversary here, huh? Yeah. Here we are now. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, come on. And this one, we want to like flare our elbows out, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. All right, get Those in there. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah, short, my short fucking short ass. <laughs> yeah, try to like have your elbows out to the side as much as possible. It's going to hit like back here. There you go. Good job. Nice, dude. Your back's gonna be strong as an ox. Ah. Come on. Keep it going. Motherfucker. You feel it, right? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Five more. Oh, fuck. Five. <laughs> Four. My children feel Come it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh. Last one. Come on. And hold it. Good job. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is a trip, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, the idea would be to stream in the evening time for an hour or two or whatever. Yeah. Because I like, I go work out in the morning, then I go to work for a couple hours. I only work for like three hours a day or four hours a day. And then I edit and then I have nothing to do. After I'm done with my YouTube videos, I do like reaction videos, which take like an hour, half hour. Yeah. And then I edit my vlog and shit, that takes like another hour. But once that's all done, then it's like, got time to I stream, have time yeah. I could stream or I could do whatever, you know? Yeah. So I've always it's getting, it's getting a lot bigger right now. It's just kind of in a it's in a weird state because like Twitch was always the biggest streaming platform. Now they're kind of falling off. So now you have all these other little ones like uh, Kick, Rumble, all these other ones that are coming up. Seems like but Kick is pr pretty much the main one now. Yeah, because that dude is balling, and he signed like Drake, Aiden Ross, mm -hmm. all these big people. So, huh? And they got the best PC, right, for the splits on everything if you do start making money? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's so. there. Hmm. I heard that the the CEO or whatever got like $3 billion off Bitcoin, so it's like, he's just like, I'm gonna just throw my fucking money into this. That's insane. Yeah. $3 billion. That's, yeah, that's a big number. That's a big number. All right, let's go out strong. There you go. Nice. Good shit. All right. This last one. Ow. We'll hit some rows. Oh my good. Sweat my ass off. Yeah. See it. Nice. 
flare those elbows out to the side. Try to get them out. Like, yep. Nice, good job. Yeah. That sucks. Come on. Five more. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Come on. Two. Last one. Good job. Oh, those suck. Cheat the workout, bro. You know what I mean? We're almost done. They did that to me yesterday, uh, 45 too. They like, trying to pull me out of my workout. I'm like, I'll smoke after the workout. Yeah, yeah. That shit. Yeah. Always time to smoke weed after. I'm training for the Olympics, you know baby. I, mean? I can't be fucking around. If we're in Wyoming, I get it. You go smoke weed with your buddies, but we're in California. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, you do that shit anytime. You think I got 45s on this? Yeah, I think so. So uh, we're going to keep it pretty tight. Um, so let's do this one, I think. And uh, we're just going to focus on keeping that elbow as close to the body. You're doing one arms? Yep, one at a time. And wow. you can either put your hand here or here. It doesn't matter. Right. Just as long as you keep your body stationary, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want to be like, yeah, you no know what I mean? Yeah. Like too much into it keeping your body stationary and only using this one muscle that we're trying to engage. Wow. And then keeping your elbow as close to your body as possible. This is really I an isolation workout, huh? Yeah, all of them we- uh, Did our? Mm-hmm. We're trying to focus on one specific thing rather than, like you said, just foofing through it. I see the gains over there, bro. Yeah, he's been getting big. It's been a good couple past six months. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, when you switch your diet up, you get the best results. What do you eat? Do you change it up or do you eat the same stuff? I'll switch it up, but I keep it pretty lean for the most part. Just 9% uh, lean turkey, chicken breast, protein shakes, and Greek yogurt. Yeah. That's all yogurt. I eat. That's a secret weapon right there, huh? <laughs> yeah, every day I eat the same thing. Chicken twice, turkey once, and beef once. And then six ounces of veggies with each. And then on a chill day, I'll have 400 grams of rice. And on like a big day, I'll do 800 grams of rice. It's a lot, but... Like carb cycling? Yeah, I was carb cycling, but that shit killed me, bro. I would like not eat, a, you know, rice for one day or three days. And I would be like... So exhausted, I'd have to take a nap. I get a headache. So I just don't like that shit no more. So my carb cycling is I'll either do, I'm gonna ask Eric actually about this. I've been going like overdose on the carbs. So like, I'll, you know, normal day, I'll have 400 grams of rice, which would be like 100, 100, 150, you know, for three meals, pretty standard. And, uh, but then like on a big day, I'm just like, fuck it. I want to go like double that. Cause then you know you're not hungry, you're not like bitching all day. You're like, you yeah, you feel good. Good for, energy, energy. for me, the sacrifice is 250 calories. Another cup of rice is only 250 more calories. So who cares, right? You're not like it's not that big a deal. So I'm like, fuck, man. It makes such a difference in your day. Come on, Zion. Elbow in. Keep that elbow into your body. Yep. You see that? There we go. Sorry, dude. Let's go. Nice, dude. Good job. Oh. Yes, sir. See you, brother. Hey, Brosky. Wow. Good job, man. I'm sweating now. I know, it's about that. You know what? Let's throw another 45 on here, Zan. Another one? Yep, another one. Crazy for that. You got it. What are those, your, your wrestling shorts? Hey, your football girdle? 
<laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Where are you ripping today? Oh, you've been doing legs? Damn. Come on. I need to stop skipping those, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh. Danny, Danny's like, man, your boy there is cool as hell. I was like, yeah, he's my favorite, bro. All right, Zan. Keep that elbow in. There you go. And then squeeze all the way back. Come on, man. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, perfect, dude. Beautiful. Yep, exactly. Hold it on the back. Nice, dude. Uh, who's doing the uh, holding this thing? Uh, Frank. 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 Ah. Oh, sorry. I guess I'll allow it. <laughs> Come on. Beautiful. Oh. Hello, Moto. Come on. Ugh. Keep that elbow in. There you go. Come on. Oh. Good job. Those feel good. Jump in here. This so, way? Yep. And then... Uh, this way or yep. this way? No, this, this way? Yep. Trying to hover your chest a little bit off the thing. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, you're really gonna... Nice, dude. Good job. There it is, man. I'm going out strong. Oh, yeah. I didn't know I had this in me. Yeah, you're a strong dude, man. It's good to see you. Like, I was honestly pretty stoked to see you doing those uh, chest workouts yesterday with Austin. Oh, yeah. Seeing those videos. Bro, if I keep training with legends like you. Uh, yeah, you're going to be in no... In, Killer shape in no time. Anybody watching this video, if I'm not big in six months, it's call me a pussy. Yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> call him, beat me up, do it. <laughs> hey, Joe. Come on. Let's go. You can put a tiny bit of bend in your elbows. There you go. Come on, go out strong. Five more. Come on, two more. Two more. Last one. Good job. Oh. <laughs> getting smoked. Yeah. You ready, bro? Right after this, I'll hop in a little bit. Fajita. It's what's about, it's what's inside, baby. It's all about what's inside. <laughs> it was lit. Yeah. You got to drive the Cybertruck? Yeah. He, he, I didn't know that he, he didn't want me to drive it. He was just telling me to get his wallet out of it and go walk to the burger place. But I just drove it to the burger place. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. What should I do, 40 uh, again? 40, yeah. Just kind of, oh. Yeah, I just got the cheapest one they got. I got the Model 3. No, I love them. That's like my dream car right there. It's nice. I love it. I like my car a lot. Uh, chest away. Yep, yep, there you go. Put a little bit of bend in your elbows. And then elbows up. Keep them up. There you go. Beautiful. Come on. Five more. Here we go. Five. Elbows up. Bend a little bit. There you go. Two. Last one, come on. Good job. Ooh, that was good, yeah. Yeah, we'll go out strong here and then this is it. You gotta find new veins popping when I get home. <laughs> Big time, you're gonna be, where'd, where'd this come from? <laughs> There you go. 
Let's go. Well, that was it, back day. What do you think? Amazing, <laughs> uh, definitely gonna feel it tomorrow. Thank you, Sean, for walking me through this. Of course, what was your favorite exercise? Um, I have that, probably that standing one with the bar, what's mm -hmm. that called? It's lap, like a lat pull down. Lat, pu lat pull down. Mm -hmm. uh, he taught me a lot on the rows and the flies for sure. Nice, and excited, man. we gotta hit chest, legs, some other workouts. Dude, I think, yeah, legs is next because, uh, yeah, you need some work on the legs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna put you through it on that one. That one's not an easy day. This was kind of chill. We were just going through the motions, making sure you got everything. Legs is like a for real, for real deal. Yep, I'm ready. I'm Everybody here, go follow Sean, follow his journey to fitness. Uh, said you've been doing this for like a year now, seriously. Yeah, right? well, yeah, since last March, so it's coming up on a year. Yeah, amazing progress. He's helping me progress. Uh, you'll see me back here for sure. Yeah, it's about, I appreciate it. Of course, my man. It's about helping your friends and making sure we all grow as a team. And we're only good as the weakest link. So if, if one of us is whack, then we're all whack. We gotta all be strong and we all gotta have shit going for us and it helps everybody grow. Hey, uh, and the sea ships float together, right? Yes, sir. Let's go. On the road to Millie's. <laughs> road to Millie. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it. What a fucking day already. Jeez, that was a, all right, this is gonna be a long vlog. It's gonna be some good shit with the talk with Eric and me talking in the beginning and then some Zan talk. Uh, hopefully the audio that I missed wasn't too terrible. We'll see, I have to edit it right now and I'll, I guess I'll see. But anyways, tomorrow's gonna be arm day, hopefully by myself, I think. You don't have to train anybody. And then uh, Thursday, we're doing legs with with uh, Joe, so exciting. I always love legs with Joe, because you know, for the obvious reasons. Should be good, and uh, excited about everything. Keep your head up, you guys. Always progress, always do better. Try to get better at something every day. Give yourself a task or a goal, something you can try to figure out and like, if you have to, just use YouTube to figure out how to do it better. Stupid shit like that. Anyways, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the best. Appreciate you. See you tomorrow. Peace.